like to quickly experience this. Okay, Miss Angie. We'll just do a quick one, Angie. We'll just do it quickly. So just, um, is there a particular memory you have in mind or a particular emotion? Because <laughs> we can actually do this. We can actually do this with anger. We can do this with anger, sadness. Guilt, shame. In fact, these are very good emotions to do it on. Could I suggest we do one of these, Angie? Yes. I don't know which emotion that will be, but I guess is. Great, Angie. Just relax. Yeah. Excellent. Take a couple of deep breaths. Relax. And relax. And relax. Relax. Now I want for you to find yourself slowly, comfortably breathing in a very relaxed fashion. That's it. Adjust your body. And I'd like for you to imagine yourself floating up, floating up. And floating up. You can feel yourself floating up. And you can see your timeline. However you choose to see it. That's right. And just allow yourself to float back a little bit along your timeline. Right. And just as you're adjusting yourself and floating back along your timeline, I'd like for you to pick your earliest memory experiencing sadness or anger. And I'd like for you to make sure you go to one of your earliest, earliest memories. Staying up high, floating above your timeline, and floating back and back and back along your timeline. Okay, can you remember the first time? I guess so. <laughs> How old were you then? I guess so, five, maybe four years old, three, four years old. Excellent, Angie, you're doing really, really well, really well. Now, I'd like for you to float down 
float down a bit into that memory, but keeping yourself distant, perhaps a few meters away at a pace where you're comfortable. You are comfortable. That's right. You're comfortable and you can see that younger, perhaps five-year-old, four-year-old version of you experiencing that emotion for the first time. What does that young girl, what does she need to, to learn or know? What's a positive intention? What's a positive intention? What do you need to learn in order for you to release all the negative emotions and move forward with more happiness and fulfillment and love in your life? I guess that um, that parenting is not easy and that my parents did their best they could, or especially my mom at that moment. Excellent, Angie. Just relax. Just relax. Now I'd like to invite you, if you'd like to, you might like to see some things change in there. It's up to you. This is your world. If you'd like to change anything in the picture, perhaps allowing that four or five-year-old girl to change now. Or perhaps you might like to change now other things. And you can change whatever you want to change now. Now, Angie, I'd like for you, when you're ready and when you're comfortable or when you're even more comfortable and changed, I'd like for you to consider stepping in and seeing it through the eyes of that four or five-year-old girl in your picture. That's it, really seeing it. Relax, comfortable, changed. Now let's hop back out. If there's anything else you like to say or do to that four or five year old girl. 
Do you want to give her a message? Whenever you're ready, I would like for you to float up. And let me know when you're floating up. Wonderful. Now, as you're floating up, I'd like for you to notice that that memory may become a bit brighter. And float up a bit more and notice any coloring around here perhaps becoming brighter. And then slowly float back along to the present, allowing any other experiences along that timeline to perhaps brighten up as well, if they like. And perhaps with that learning, Maybe other memories can lighten up, brighten up. As you slowly float back towards the present, I'd like to invite you to float a bit out towards the future. And perhaps put some brightness into the future. Spreading some of those positive intentions out into the future for you. For your future selves. And then float back to the present. Floating down and down and down and floating back into the present. Adjusting yourself in the body. Notice how your body may feel different now. Integrating any changes. Integrating any further changes now. Coming back into the room slowly when you're ready, opening up. Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay, let's give Angie a few minutes to consolidate.